there was a woman walking out. She was pushing for 19 hours, something like that. She had to get a C-section or something Hell like that. Hell no! So you cheated? Proudly. 33 weeks I met with my doctor. We was making um, my birth plan and I said, let me tell you something. I don't mind feeling the contractions because I want the experience. But as soon as I step on these premises, yeah? I don't want to feel an ounce of pain. You drug me up to the end, okay? <laughs> What is good, my good people? It's your girl, Madam Joyce in the bizzle. It's been another week, long time, no speak. What's good in the hood? You know it's good. What's good in the hood? Baby, as you should. Yes, as you should. And a, uh, in the, oh, uh, yeah. What's good? Back again. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, guys. Happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers, to the mother figures, mm -hmm. to the mother figures. Y'all are our winners, for real, for shizzle. And with that being said... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm a rapper. But guys, as today is Mother's Day, I really wanted to bring a yummy mummy onto the set today. And you have seen her before. And I'm so gassed to have her back. Honestly, she is a content creator. She is a producer. And now she is a mother. Uh, uh, it is the uh, one uh, and only... And Andrea! Andrea! Wow, you're really a rapper! <laughs> you're really a rapper! <laughs> that was too good! Too good! How are you, my good sister? Oh, long was, time! Long time! Wow! Twib! Uh, where, where have, have you been? been? Nobody <laughs> knows you like I. Nobody I know be were like oh, you do what you know it I did anyone I did anyone I said now I'm not lying lying body to body yeah copyright copyright I don't know the song I don't actually know the song I don't know the lyrics either. after Twitter where have you been I'm just like yeah it's gay it's literally yeah girl how long has it been were you here last year I was here last year just over a year you were in the old studio Yes, and my, 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 we uh, in the new studio. We in the new studio. Honestly, I'm so happy. We actually made a drink for you today, which is a, a special drink. We're going to call this Annie's Am... Or, uh, mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The drink is called Annie's Aromatic Squeeze. Wow. And the reason why we call it Squeeze is because I want to squeeze your bum after this episode. Okay. Period. Okay. So, obviously, we know that you are a zesty queen yes with a pack of punch so obviously we added the lemon the lemon juicy to it that's me then obviously you are fun sharp and up for a good time Ooh, we love that. so we added a bit of tequila as well Ooh, I love and we that. know that tequila is your favorite drink well it's i know favorite. that yeah and girl i know yes. that yeah and we had a dash of bitters because you are a spicy mummy so we've got the we've got the bitters in there. And honestly, thank you. I'm, I'm really loving this. I love this drink. Oh, is it not? Is it coming? It's not this. Oh, okay. We just so. Oh yeah, this is um. <laughs> this is a cheers. A cheers to the new studio, cheers. yummy mummy. Cheers. Cheers. Let's bring it. Mmm. Oh, fabulous. Oh my goodness. So this is for you. This is mine. And it's aromatic squeeze oh my goodness can i take a sip of course you could take a sip tell me how you like it okay mm, the foam on top is giving mm. Mm. are you loving it are you loving mm. it yeah mm. i could okay are you loving it mm. <laughs> she said um not quite um no it's really nice you love it. i like it oh, yeah. oh my god That's thank it. you thank you, it's so funny. I like the bartender. <laughs> it's good. They were looking for me. This is such a nice surprise. I can feel the tequila. This is really good. It's so funny. The last time we, the last time we sat down together, mm. we were on tequila. You didn't have a, you didn't have a special drink. We were pouring it in a, it was in a, um, a plastic cup, and it was from it the was bottle. It was a plastic cup, straight and from the no bottle. There was no bartender. There was no bartender. No no bartender. And you know what's so funny? You know what, what I will always remember of you? You drink straight. Yes. So that day, I remember, I said, what drink do you want? She goes, can I pick Taylor? And I said, okay, what mixer? She was like, no, just have it straight. straight. And you were pouring that 
yeah. straight from the bottle into the cup. And I was looking at you thinking, this one is heavyweight champion. Mm. You see, it was a heavyweight champion. Very strong. Okay. So, and then, and then, so we did, so we had our episode. We had our episode. We had a time. We were drinking, keying, laughing. Okay, let's not emphasize on the drinking okay, if you're going to bring up the next Okay, point. no, we were, we were keying and laughing. <laughs> we were having a good time. Yeah. We were single girly. Uh -huh. Fun. Uh, yeah. 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 As single as you could be. As single as you could be. I mean, that's like not good weeks. if you're going to lead up the next four. No, no, no. I mean, I thought we were. We, I thought, yeah. this is what I thought. Oh, this, this is, your, this, what this was my thought. reality. Okay, okay, okay. This was, cool. so my reality was that single as in like, was having Within a well of a time. Yes, yes. We was having a well of a time. We didn't have a family. We didn't have a family. Right. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were single one time, <laughs> independence. Couple of weeks later, bam, boom. Bam, <laughs> boom, boom. Bam, boom, boom. Pregnancy. Pregnancy. <laughs> Pregnant? Pregnant. When I saw that I on the internet, I said, ha. Huh. She was giving it was from me. So I said this. No, I knew, I knew you didn't know at the time. Okay. I knew you didn't know. Because I, I said, do, anyways, to God be the glory. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you didn't know at the time. But it, was, it wasn't so long. And, you, and I saw that you were pregnant. I was like, oh my God, this is such a, this is a dream. I was so excited for you. But I think Thank I was... You. I was so shocked. Everyone was shocked. I was shocked and I was the one that was pregnant. You need to tell me how this occurred. Pregnancy? No, not girl, come I mean, on now. Yeah, right. Because I was going to say, uh, I mean, I think we all know. I mean, I want to know, like, when? how did you find out you was pregnant? How were you feeling? I want it from the beginning. So when I found out I was pregnant, so I came back. When I met up with you, I yeah. had just got back. It was like a couple of weeks after Valentine's Day. Oh. So we had just got back from a cabin. Okay. Upstate New York. Oh. In the woods. With for Valentine's Day. With nature. And nature happened and boom, bam. You know, pregnancy. <laughs> no, but yeah. So I got, um. so we conceived our baby then. I didn't know. Okay. And then... I don't know. There was just one day I just kept sleeping, and my best friend, we Lilian, we're both synced. Like our periods are both synced. So she, we've been synced for like six months. So she came on for yeah, she came on, and she's seven days, and I'm three days. So usually when she comes on, I come on and I finish. Okay. She came on and and she had finished, and I was like, wait, hold on a second. This is not what we usually do. Hello. And then I guess I was undressing one day in front of her and she was like, whoa, your boobs look big. And I was like, I know, right? But I was just thinking, oh, you know what? I just like put on a bit of weight. Like it's, and then I was just sleeping one day and she was like, <clears throat> I think we're going to have to do a test. That's what she said to me. So it was even your best friend that said you should do a test. Yeah. Cause I don't know whether I was in denial or I was just like, cause I was just vibing like, come on. A time. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, do you think that's my only time ever using? No, yeah. like, I was like, wow, the one. And you know what the craziest thing is? So at the cabin, I ended up ending things with my dad. When I left. Oh, really? So you had broken up? We, I like was like, I think we should just like wish each other the best. Take care. Goodbye. Like, so after he goodbye. bought cabin, he was giving you cock. Over the Valentine's weekend, you now broke up with him. It was he. Uh, that's the Andrea inertia. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, he's a cancer. I'm a Pisces, and sometimes we just like mm, we just be getting on each other's nerves. So I was just like, you know, I just need peace. And my birthday was coming up, so you know, like when your birthday's coming up, you're you're ready to like, you know, I'm just ready to mama. live my yeah. life. Yeah. Outside. So when I came back from New York, did I didn't know that. I didn't just bring my baggage in the suitcase with me. I was also carrying more baggage. <laughs> okay. Like importation. Like Girl, I brought something over. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, no. And then, yeah, we did the test and I cried. Like, but the thing is, I had a dream. No, you are not going to believe me about this. Okay. Me. I had a dream a week before we found out. Okay, that I had a baby, a baby girl. Okay, wow. but also my ex was in the dream. Okay, I went to my girlfriend and I was like, Lillian, I was like, Lillian, I just had a dream. My ex was in the dream 
and I had a baby and I was just like, Focus on my ex because I was like, me and you are done. Yeah. So you can't be coming to appear in my. I thought you were doing witchcraft for me. Like, don't try and try and summon me back through my dreams. Mm-hmm. Lilian was like, he's probably thinking of you. My mom. I told my mom. My mom was like, he's probably thinking of you. Okay, cool. Then guess what? I don't check my phone in the morning. I ran and told her the dream. I went back to go check my phone. Guess what? My ex had called me. Okay. My ex had called me and I just dreamt about him. I was wow. like, okay, now he's really trying to summon me. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We, we rebuke it. Just but <laughs> then we did the test and I was like, Lillian, do you remember I had a dream? I had a dream. I had, oh I had a dream. And you know what? In the dream, yeah, I'm going to tell you very something very specific. Talk to me. In the dream, okay, I dreamt that my baby had a long head. Okay? Just stay with me. Okay. Everybody <laughs> stay with me. Okay? And I was in the dream. I kept putting a hat over her head and I was like oh don't worry about her head she's gonna grow into it you know because I just thought she was gonna have like an oval head Mm -hmm. okay when I gave birth didn't they have to use like this what was the tool the faucet a suction tool Oh, suction okay because she was facing like a weird way so they had to use a suction tool which made her have a long head that's crazy birth don't you think that's Yeah, crazy. I'm very spiritual now. I'm very spiritual because I dreamt that she was a girl. That's crazy. And I also dreamt that she looked like my younger sister. She looks like my younger sister. I'm very spiritual. So it's that like you saw your baby. You, I knew she, she was, was going to be a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had like three dreams that she was going to be a girl. And I was really certain. Sorry, she's in the background. She wants to let everyone know that she's, she's here. here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Step into the sea, girl. <laughs> love it but yeah very very spiritual so i was like you know what my baby is god wants god like is bringing this baby into my life and honestly sit i'm gonna cry but since she's been in my life she has fulfilled me completed me wow in ways that like i didn't know i needed like she's healed me in so many ways but that's how I found out I was pregnant. Do you know what? I'm s- when I mean I'm so sorry. Happy I went here, there, everywhere. No, honestly, I'm loving it because listen, this is this is new news to me. Yeah, I've been following you on socials and just been seeing you and seeing how much you love your daughter. The way you talk about your daughter, like she is the she is the best thing in the world, and it she makes is. me so happy for you. Like, Thank you. just seeing someone that is like me enjoy motherhood it's made me think mm, maybe maybe yeah. i can maybe yeah. one yeah. day i yes. can meet you there we can yes. be carry, pushing buggy together yes. honestly i'm so 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 happy with you how do you feel like it's changed you from the last time we've we were together to now how do you feel like you've you've changed i think the main thing has been that like <clears throat> she has made me have empathy for my parents Okay. She's wow. made me have empathy for myself. Like, you know, I feel like when I was growing up, yeah, like when my parents would fall short, it would affect me as a child. And, you know, we still have that child in us as we grow and get older. Mm-hmm. But I feel like me mothering her, me being able to be the mother that I always wanted for myself. It's like healing. It's almost like we're both getting that mother, you mm-hmm. know, in a way. And then I get to be the mother that she needs, you know. Sometimes parents are just parents to be parents for themselves. Like, this is my child and you're an extension of me and you live under my house, my rules, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I feel like sometimes parents aren't the parents that we need sometimes. Yeah. They are the parents that they are, but they're not the parents that we need. And so, but now I feel like with my daughter and, you know, they're just trying their best, you know, they're they're just doing what they can with the tools that they have. But Mm -hmm. with my daughter, I get to be like, I just feel like with everything that I've achieved in my whole life, nothing compares to her, like being a mother to her. It's like the best job. I feel like, before I was a mother, I was so selfish, rightly so, because I think every woman should be selfish before, you know, before you become a wife, you should, you should have your own life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so I was very selfish. I got to explore, I got to experiment, but with my daughter, I get to be complete. Like 
I sacrifice me. I get to be completely selfless mm. and it doesn't feel like a burden. doesn't feel like a chore. It feels like it's the right thing to do. Like, wow. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like she wakes me up at four o'clock in the morning. I don't complain. I'm just like, sure, baby, you're the CEO. Like she, that's the running joke of my household. Like she's the boss. She's the CEO of the company and we're all our little employers and workers, <laughs> you know? Cause it just, that mindset keeps you in check. It's like, you know, you're doing it for someone else but yeah i just love it it's so fulfilling honestly and i can just see it like even even with the glimpse that we see on yeah. social media i can just see how much you adore i love and her. also how like even as a mother you're still looking sexy you're still yummy breast thank is you. still <laughs> thank you thank breast you breast is still looking milky and thank yummy you. thank like, you like honestly i'm i'm so so happy and you're talking about your parents like do you feel like your relationship has gotten better with your parents since you've You've had Maya? I think that um, it's hard to say. Like, I feel like with my parents, when I was pregnant with Maya, I just started to feel like I just had a different perspective. I was like, there's no way I could do half the things my parents have done to me, yeah. to my baby girl. Yeah. But I understand that they had parents parent them mm -hmm. and so they were children and they still have that inner child in them so it's like I still have to give them that empathy but at the same time I'm like okay I couldn't do this and and I feel like every generation is just trying to be better than the last so for example my mom probably her parents probably didn't have a lot of money so yeah. for her it was like I just want my children to have the things I didn't have that's her goal her benchmark you know but then her giving us that, I'm like, yeah, but mom, I need emotional support though. Mm. And she's like, don't you see, I'll give you this, this, this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, honestly, she spoiled Maya to the death. But then when I'm like, mom, um, I'm having a bit of a mental B today. I'm having a bit of a mental breakdown. She's like, listen, be grateful that you have a daughter and just pray to God. Like, do you know what they I mean? They deal with it's it in like, the way that they, they, they know. know. Yeah, yeah. They know. And yeah. so I just want to now be better than like, give my child better than what I had. But then I have to remember, okay, I have to give her also what she requires from me as well. Honestly, the question. Th I feel like that's, that's the main thing that kind of keeps me away right. from motherhood. Obviously okay. if it came to me, right. if, if I had a child now, I'd be so blessed. I'd be so happy. Right. But it's that almost fear of not repeating history. Mm. That's like, I want to make sure that I'm good. I want to make sure that, mm. I'm in a good position and in a good household that I could be able to look after my child in the best, best way possible. Of course. And honestly, I keep seeing all these stories on um, the TikTok, internet and of TikTok. Course. Yes. Of the, I didn't know I was pregnant. And then one day I went to the toilets. And then and I had a pain. And then I had a pain. And the toilet, and, the, and I thought it was poo. And, it, and I was in labor. God, can I just can I just use Andy now, please, to pray? <laughs> God, don't let that be my don't Amen. let that be my destiny. If I'm pregnant, even if it's one minute, just say hello. Like, by, yeah, by the yeah. way, honestly, so, that's yeah. You don't get a chance to adapt, like mentally. Yeah, adapt. that I think with with the journey that you've had, you've been able to at least have nine months to process right. yourself. Yeah, imagine if one day you were you were a huchi mama, then the next day. Dude, baby's not falling out. Whoa! <laughs> like, exactly. Give me time. Like, give me, give me yeah, time. Indeed, give me time to adjust. Yeah, give yeah, me your, yeah. Give me your space. Yeah. But yeah, I want. I want to know something. So okay. So let's let's go back to your ex, right, Mr. Man. You were saying you wasn't. In the, you said you did. You wasn't Maya's together at the dad. time. Maya's dad. Yeah. He he wasn't the ex that was in the dream. Oh. It was another ex. I know. I'm telling you, Pisces oh, life. I was living like. So what's your relationship status at the moment? I mean. What's how you rubbing? I don't really have anything else to say. Shut the f up. <laughs> Shut the f I don't have anything to say. I don't talk about <laughs> my child's <laughs> father <laughs> on the internet. Wait, wait, I don't what? talk about. Wait. I don't wait. talk about my child's father wait. on the internet. Wait. Okay? wait no, wait, I'm sorry. Wait. I have to keep wait. things private. Wait. No way. Shut I the f up. 
Wait, why is this more excited? No, we need to address this. Why are people more excited about this than pregnancy? Okay, my daughter's in the studio. I didn't get this reaction. Say wallahi balahi right now. Wallahi about what? What is is that your uh, engagement ring? Engagement ring? When does when when is this an engagement ring? Well, well, you're just, why is it on the wrong, what's on the wrong hand? No, it doesn't well, look at your me. hand. I is know. this engagement? Listen, is this thing? Have you got something that you want to tell us? No, 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 no. no. You lot know I'm single. Let me, let me not block my destiny. No, seriously, Annie, what's, <laughs> Annie, what's the scope? Don't f*** with me. No, what, what do you mean? Are you asking me my relationship is? I'm saying, so I don't talk about, about Maya's dad why are you on the internet. All I'm saying, that's all I do. And that's that's all you can, if you want to take Why are you from it. Shooting, Gatti? If you if you want to take what you want to take from it. Please, please. Okay, so are we not? Okay, we're not gonna. What, you don't want to delve into it. You don't want to delve into the relationship. What was what was the convo? It's so funny. What was the conversation that we were having? There was a video of us two that went viral. Yes, I what know. What was the video? The video was about. Um, I got mummy brain. The video was about. It was definitely talking about boys. It was about boys, and it was like something like, um, "This is gonna rattle my brain because I do need to, men I, how a... they do you, something like that." Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So the, the 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 video was you should do men how they do you. Does that you need if if more women acted like men, men, men yeah. would be in check or something like yeah. that. And I remember in the comments where the guys were like, oh, look at these girls. These lot are going to be alone for the rest of their lives. They're just going to be cat owners. And sorry, what were you saying? You're a dog One... owner. First of all. <laughs> First of all. But my sister is happily in love. You see, this is, this is the problem. I feel like the point I'm trying to make is that when women are vocal, Right. And when they are expressive and when they are sexy and fun and boisterous, there's this narrative that if a woman stands for herself, that she's going to be alone and single and whatever. Right. But hello, my sister was getting flogged. We were getting flogged together last year about, oh, you guys are going to be alone. These are the type it. of girls. These are the type of girls when they talk to I was <laughs> When this type of... My yeah. sister is in love with her boo and a child. Now check that. She... <laughs> <laughs> now check that. Okay. Honestly, I'm so happy. Don't use me as an example, Joyce. What about you? Oh, stop it. Now let's talk about it. I don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend? Girl, no. I'm you like, look like you look like you're, you're getting loving. You get you look like you're getting loving. My point, don't try to don't let them prove the point. Don't <laughs> let them prove my point. Let's focus on you. <laughs> <laughs> Hot topics of the week, baby. I saw a conversation on the internet where there was a woman who was asking a question where she had a um she had seven children to the same man. For one reason or another, uh, yeah, I um, this. they ended their relationship and she was asking, is it still possible for her to date again with seven children? Um, I believe the woman said that, was it, did, she, did the, the person that was answering the question say something along the lines of she should maybe try and f- fix it with her, no, her old baby father? What she ended up saying was... Comment to the camera, uh, Mike, please. So what she ended up saying was, it is possible that she might find love, but it would be because to find a man that would have the money essentially to help raise these seven children, to have mm-hmm. the finances to support these seven children is going to be quite difficult. And then on top of that, she says, because you're, you're a mother, your primary concern is these seven children, your own kids. He, will you have the mental capacity to give him what he needs while he's trying to also support these mm. seven kids. Okay. You saw the video? Did you see the video? I saw some of it. I saw the beginning. Okay. So we've had we've had uh the conversation. How do you feel about that? Like what's your opinion about obviously single mothers, you know, trying to get into the dating pool again? Listen, I'm so sorry. Okay, look, 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 look. Talk to okay. me. Uh we all know the city girls say that broke men don't deserve pussy. Mm-hmm. 
So if broke men are still able to date women and still, they have no business dating women, go get your money up. But if they if they deserve love, a woman bringing in seven kids out of a, an, um, a relationship, why does she deserve love too? Facts. Like, what I the? And agree. you know what? On top of that, do you know how many men that's out there that's got seven kids, 10 kids, multiple children, Facts. mothers, and then they still get love? They still get love. Facts. So why is it different for, why is it different for a, a woman? Or why is it the flip side now it's wrong? Come on, man. This is, we are in 2024. The patriarchy is still going. It's still happening. <laughs> I swear. Come on. Do you know what? Here's the thing. I was, I was thinking about this one. I a thousand percent agree. I believe that a woman that has seven children, six children, three children should still be able to rediscover love if her Period. first relationship didn't work. Period. I think what it is, what, what I believe is that I believe a woman can as a, a, can come into a single father space and extend the love that the right. that she has for the man to the child. Right. I think it's very different when it's the opposite side, and I'll tell you why. I've had a stepfather before. Mm. Fun fact: I've had a stepfather before, and sometimes when a man is dating a woman with children. It mm. just feels like that man is dating them as opposed to being a partner, but also having to be a father. Like I kind of felt my stepdad was just there for my mom. Right. Like, I felt like my stepdad was my mom's, my mom's husband. Mm. And that was it. Anything mm. to do with me or my siblings, he had no involvement, no concern. He'd be there for the dinners. He'd be there for everything. He'd be, he'd be there. But I didn't feel like there was enough active participation in his new father role. Mm. And I think perhaps for women, it's easier to step into because we're a lot more maternal. When we, 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 we love wide. So mm. if we had a partner that had a child, we would receive the child like our own. Now, I don't know it's cause I, if I'm just speaking from my experience, but I feel like that wouldn't be so as easy to do for a man because they don't have that, they, they're they not as emotional as us. I don't know. Yeah. I, I get, I hear this is just from This yeah, is from, my, this is just from yeah. my experience. Now, I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one because that's the only experience I know. No, and yeah. I've never really had a conversation about how, like mixed households really work mm. but yeah back to the question i really do believe that it's, it is possible for do some you, do you know what from my experience yeah. i had a stepmom stepdad mom and dad yeah and i feel like there were times that when it came to like for example celebrating my mom's birthday my dad even though he's cool with my mom didn't want to be a part of that because he didn't want to step on my stepdad's toes Okay. But when it came to now dealing with stuff to do with me, let's say my dad isn't happy with my life choice, my stepdad or even stepmom sometimes, they wouldn't want to override what my actual mom and dad mm -hmm. think or feel about my life choice. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like they don't want to step on my, they want to like be there to support me because they might understand why I'm making this life decision, but they won't want to kind of, step on the biological parents, parents toes, toes. Well. I think my I, I hear what you're saying but my situation is a bit different because remember my dad wasn't in the picture yeah so that's what I was, I was yeah. gonna say maybe it's different when there's an absent parent yeah um but then also what if your mom was maybe protecting you guys because men sometimes they want to just get up and leave yeah and what if you had formed an attachment you know then you would have another heartbreak yeah so maybe your mom might have tried to protect you yeah. from that, or maybe he wanted to protect you, or I don't know, or protect himself. Yeah. Maybe he felt like your mom would up and leave. Yeah. You know? And then he's there like actually loving kids. That's not because I hear about stories like like yeah, that all the time. Have, I did I did actually hear about it, even an LGBTQ one. Right. Um recently where there were two women who um shout out to the LGBTQ. Who, Q plus, sorry. Yes. 
the LGBTQ. I should really know because I'm part of the community, yes. but okay. There were two women right. and um, they both decided to have a child together. Um, so, well, the first woman had the child. Right. So it was her biological child. Yeah. But they both raised, yeah. they both raised um, the child together. Now, the woman who is the biological mother decided three, four years later to pack up and leave and, and go and settle down with the baby father. I... So the woman who's the mother, but not biologically, was fighting in court because I've been I've raised this child for over three years yeah. and you've just packed up yeah. and left the child. And the courts didn't fa- they didn't favor her because yeah. technically she's not the biological mother. And that's mother. the thing you have to. I feel like you kind of have to, in those situations you have to adopt the child. Yeah, you I don't know why she didn't adopt the child. You never know. But yeah, I feel like the maybe because it was the. Sometimes when it's a woman asking those questions, mm. going back to the conversation, when it's a woman asking those questions about seven children, I think that's when there's a lot of conversation around it. Mm. But like you said, if it's guys, and bear in mind, the woman had seven children to one man. Can I just say- When it's what? guys, mm. I, know, I know men with five kids, six kids, at, seven kids. At the age of 26. Remember that story that I, I told a story on this episode where there was a boy- Fine boy, 28, three kids, mm. three children, mm. still bouncing up and down these mm. streets like a bad boy. Mm. When it's guys, when it comes to, and most of these, some of your favorite rappers are hiding their five kids. Mm. I'm not going to snitch on the names, but I know you. They're hiding their five, six kids. No bars. Round and round. Yeah. And women are still coming. No, but I'm just going to say this here. I feel like it's so wrong because why are we even as women asking if we can de- go date? Yeah, just go date. Go date. Go, go date. date. And let me tell you something. Pum pum is pum pum. Yeah. Man are going to still want pum pum. Yeah. If you're a good woman, who cares if you've got seven kids? I have a question. Go live your life. I have a question. Can if you've got seven kids, doesn't that mean you got a good pum pum? It means you're a good woman for him to stick around for seven kids now. Not one. Not two. Not three, not, not three, four. Not four, not five. Seven lucky number seven. Seven sisters. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Come on. That's a reference right there. I have a question though. Go on. You see when you have a child, yeah? Mm. Does your body like change? Like what's your vagina saying? Okay. Saying? okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to say they stitched me up. T- no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that, but no. I need another. I know someone's gonna stitch this TikTok and be like, no, you, said uh, joke. you know, when they come with this. Not gonna lie, you said you're kidding quickly, so it won't. I had to. It, it, there wasn't a pause. If you, there, if there was a pause, you'd have been. F-ed, but you were like, yeah, they stitched your child. I'm joking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wanna know, like, what's your saying? Like, is it honestly? I'm gonna say, like, a lot of women say, oh yeah, they're not as horny after a baby. I'm really horny all the time. All the time. All the time, all the time. Does it change the shape? Of, like when, when you, like after you give birth, yeah. Okay. Because I don't know what it feels like. Because you know, I'm not sticking something inside of me. I no, like when out. you give. When should you I? Give, should I make a call? No, when you gave birth, did you see your vagina? Did you look at it? Um, I saw the video. Yeah. What was it saying? It goes back to the regular size. What, it goes back to the crazy? regular size. Like, Stretched out. Yeah. What the hell? A whole human's coming out of it. What is it? Is it? Do you? Is it? My he- my baby's head was coming out. I saw it. I was like, how? How? And then it's not even just a baby. It's the placenta that comes out of it afterwards. You're just like, how does that come out of the small little hole? Yeah. Oh, wait. It's wham. It's wham. And then guess what? Six weeks later, it's like this again. But even sometimes it's even... Honestly, okay. Just between me and you guys, okay? Go on. I was myself. Go on. And it... Her. It was given tight, tight. It was really tight. It was given. It was rigidity. really like I honestly think after you have a baby, it's like you're basically a virgin again. Seriously, literally. Do you know what? I can see that because you know what? Because because you tear and stuff like the healing process. The, it will shrivel healed. up. That's like you will now heal. You now you you the muscle given, will now tighten in very well. I'm not even joking. I think it, look how little my fingers are. <laughs> it really was hurting me. <laughs> yeah. She said, ow, this type girl. Type 
girl good Listen, evening uh-huh and it's, yeah it's, we haven't even got i didn't even ask you about giving birth the whole giving birth on. process you gave birth transcended naturally, naturally? how natural is it gonna go like as, as in, natural as my hair <laughs> like you didn't have a cesarean no did you have gas and air i epidural? had yeah see the natural community would say that's not natural because natural is like nothing, just you like had gas in air. I had gas in here. I had, uh, I had. Listen, let me tell you something, yeah. When I told, listen, I told you, I'm telling you. Thirty three weeks, I met with my doctor. We were making up my birth plan, and I said, let me tell you something. As soon as I step, I don't mind feeling the contractions because I want the experience. But as soon as I step on these premises, yeah, <laughs> let me tell you, I don't want to feel an ounce of pain. You drug me up to the end, okay? <laughs> you drug me up. I, they said no problem. They gave me a plan. And that's what we did. I had codeine as soon as I entered the place. They tried to send me to another hospital down the road. I said, hell no, I've got security. I'm not leaving. I said, no. They said, we're booked up with beds. I said, call my midwife. Someone call my midwife. They're trying to have me make me have my baby out of the road. I was like, <laughs> listen, I think I might, <laughs> I might have even played the the, 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 the thingy card. The back, the, I <laughs> like, <laughs> they treated me like a <laughs> Honestly, I was, and then also I actually had anxiety because you know, like um, the um, the rates for black and brown women is so ex- yes. is so different, mm-hmm. right? So I started going to a panic attack, and I was there literally in because the, there's a waiting room before you actually you have to get checked in like a hotel. Yeah. Okay. I'm there in the hey, waiting room. I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm like this is how it happens. This is how it happens. This is how it happens. Like I'm having a. Black and brown women, the percentage yeah. is going in my head. Like, yep. they was like, calm down, Andrea, we got a bed ready. I was like, all right, then drag me up. Okay, codeine, straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. Okay, didn't do nothing. All right. Then they put an injection in my leg. I didn't know what injection. They said it would numb the pain. They said it would be a little bit itchy for you. But I was like, I don't care. I don't want to feel nothing. Give it to me. You would have thought I was a fiend. On, like, oh literally. God. I said, numb. I can't if I can do I'm that. Head, yeah. I was like inject me all right cool after the injection they tried to tell me we can give you another injection but you're close to being like ready to for us to give you the epidural but if we give you this injection you'll have to wait for it to wear off before we can give you the epidural oh and so they were trying to get me to gas in air and honestly i was like what's this gas in air gonna do it's not gonna do nothing i was on it okay it was not i still felt everything and I was just a little bit woozy. You're just smoking. It was not, it was not, do not get gas in it. No, it's not, I wouldn't recommend, it, it makes you feel like, okay, it's like doing balloons. I know we don't do that anymore, but it's like that. Yeah. It's like childish drugs. Do the real thing, give me the real drug. Give me I the real said, drug. I said, needle in my back. I, listen, before I checked in, yeah, the woman, there was a woman walking out. She was like, she was pushing for 19 hours, something like that. She had to get a C-section. Or something Hell like that. no! And then she was like, I was like, why? She was like, it was so painful. It was so much stress. And honestly, I didn't want the epidural because I don't like needles. I said, close your eyes. Close your no. eyes. I'm telling you, close your eyes. Inject me. I'm not here to discourage any woman's journey. I'm talking about my journey. And guess what I did? I said, needle in my back. I'm closing my eyes. Is it in yet? Is it in yet? Is it in yet? They were like, <laughs> it's not in yet. It's not in yet. I'm like, when is it going in? Will I feel it? They're like, don't worry. It's not even in yet. Literally, honestly. Okay. Side effects, you might get a little bit of back pain. I've got back pain three months later. Fine, whatever. But listen, it's just a little pick <laughs> and then you stay still. You might feel a contraction, but think about the future. You could so you have to stay still. Stay still. So, if the contractions come, enjoy firm it. Okay? You're not selling this to me well, I can't lie. I'm telling you, <laughs> once you get the epidural you in your back. Needle, I got back pain. I'm telling you this. Give me your hand. Once you get the epidural in your back, you all your problems go away. So you didn't feel nothing. So wait. I didn't even feel the trauma from year seven. Everything (laughs) everything went away. Everything. It was the best experience of my life. I was, you get itchy. All right, fine, whatever. You get sleepy. Yeah, okay. But it's like. Not you falling asleep during. It's like you need to. It's like you need to. So. Have you tried illegal? No. So how you know that? Because you could just imagine. Okay. Okay. 
And it's like one of the best drugs, they say. I'm not endorsing. <laughs> I'm not endorsing. Girl, what is happening? I'm not endorsing. But imagine a legalized version of that. It's like that. Now I see why addicts are addicts. Because if I could have that every day, I would. Okay? I couldn't feel nothing. And they were telling me to push. Oh, I couldn't feel nothing, but you could feel the tension. Okay, you could feel the muscles. Yes. Pushing out, pushing out, yes. pushing out. And guess what? Guess what? I'm a G. Guess what I was doing? What was you doing? I was falling asleep because that's what the epidural does to you. I got video evidence of this. So why They were you telling were... me to push and I was still pushing while I was sleeping. I was made for this. I was She's made to be a mother. One eye open when I'm, I'm sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> let me tell you. Joyce, let me tell you something. Go on. You asked me. You asked me. You look like you made... You never asked me. You made a statement. What did I say? You're made for motherhood. Yeah. Maybe you didn't say that, but I felt like you did. Okay. Okay. I'm made for motherhood. Do you know why? The doctor told me I was pushing while I was sleeping. I said, if I can do this in my sleep, this is my destiny. You know, that's a fact. Right. That's a big fact, you know. I can't lie. I you can't lie. You ate that. That's exactly what I said. I did that. The doctor said, you, you did. did that. I you said, brap, brap, brap. We won't do it in my arms. That feeling of just seeing her. She came out, yeah. I was like, whose baby is this? <laughs> because let me tell you something. Both of me and her dad are deep skinned. And even though sh children change colors, <coughs> ch they change their shade changes, yeah. right? She came out very pale. And I thought she was coming out chocolate like you, ba beautiful baby. I thought she was going to come out chocolate like you, babes. Yeah. She came out like your producer's color like this. I said, if I wasn't awake pushing this child, I would have sued this whole hospital. Where's my damn baby? They would have switched the baby that birth. I would have thought it was something like that. You know, like, back yeah. in the day, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was a beautiful experience. I saw her, I broke down, I cried. Oh, it was a... Oh, God, that's when I knew God was real. Yeah. Up and that's when I knew God was real. I said, thank you, God. I looked up. All, all the white women were looking at me like... <laughs> thank you jesus mm. lord jesus thank you jesus. it's beautiful <laughs> epidural jesus. 10 out of 10 okay so i'm not me already not me do you know what's magic i don't feel like i'm the lady that thinks about these things like there's some people that are like oh yeah i know i'm gonna call my baby joseph and in, 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 in. Yeah. i don't really think about those stuff i'm like listen what we guys get this money yet shit but like conversations like this i'm thinking what would i actually do would i have epidural well, honestly, the period pains I have right now are really hell. As in, like, my period pains, like, if I don't take Cocodamo on my first day, I'm yeah. done. You have to yeah. Yeah. take me to the hospital now. Yeah. So I can't imagine the pain that I'm going to go through when I have a child. And they try and tell you to take paracetamol at the beginning. No, <laughs> even, even me now, I can't take paracetamol even for my period. Give me that oh, cocodomol. No. Give me yeah. that But you never know. Mix. Maybe because your periods are so intense. They are really intense. Your threshold for pain might be different. Maybe like... Yeah, I do have a higher threshold for pain, but that's because I've suffered. Ah. So, you know, that right. muscle, that muscle is strunk. Oh my... Ah, let oh, them know. It. Advertise, advertise. Do you know what? Side note. Yeah, actually, no. Very... I don't Side know. Note. Side note. Yes, you were just please. fresh home for pain. You said the row. Oh, yeah. I did buy some handcuffs recently. The other day. Twins. I just think. And. And. No, do you know what? Big up Shion for this. Yeah. She said that she bought this body. This wax thing. Yeah. Like you put. Like it's a, it's like a candle. Yeah. But then when you light it. It's. And you you pour it. It's, it's like body massage. oil. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. I'm new to this. I said I could get me one of those. Shit. Just bought me one of those. For yourself. No, for when somebody wants to have sex with me. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like for those moments. Not yeah. For, not for myself. And that's, that's what I was why saying. Would that be you or what, what you look you like someone would need that. Would need. To, yeah, me. Come on. Yeah. So what's going on in your love life? I mean, I'm, I, I don't want to say I'm dating someone. Someone's, people are interested in me. People want to be my boyfriend and people stuff. People sound like this multiple. So you say multiple people want to be your boyfriend yeah. or is one person? Because that one person might watch this. No, multiple people want, they know, I tell them, listen, man's, get it. All right, now, TikTok, cut this up. Because <laughs> I'm going to be like, this is why you no, can't. And by the way, and by, this, this is annoying because every time I say dating, people think that I'm bare people. Just No, I, when you're dating, doesn't mean you're having sex. It doesn't sex. mean you're having sex. No, like, no, please, no. wake up and smother, uh, fill me on stage. I mean, when I was 
Oh, film me young. <laughs> so next hot topics is the Brits. So for the American guys who you don't know slayed, what the Brits you are. Slayed. You slayed. You slayed. I just have to say that, but go on, carry on. <sighs> for the American guys who don't know what the Brits are, it's like, what is it? MTV Awards? What? No. What no. Is like the Grammys. Like the Grammys, but for the UK lot. You think so? I feel like it's for like BET Awards, no? No, the rate the thing. Oh, Brit! It's oh, the British top, music. The top sorry, British yeah, sorry, music sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Ceremony, rate that thing small. No, yeah, rate that thing small. There's nothing wrong with the BET Awards, but I mean, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. But, but, uh, 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 Do you think it's the Grammy level for the UK? Yes. For England, yes. Not for Gram. If you compare, because isn't the Grammys like international? Grammys is like international. I mean, Brits have an international category. Emmanuel side eyeing is killing me. He's like. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, she won. The, she won the international category. Yeah, but I think the Grammys. You know, the Grammys actually have Grammys yeah. for like Latin artists, Afrobeat artists, like different. They don't only really showcase like the American part because it's. But there's so many. Girl, yeah. I'm mother- sorry, sorry. Okay, so go Brits, on. Yeah, Brits is like a Brits, big deal. Just, just so we can reference, in the UK, it's a big deal. It's the British Music Awards. Yes, the British. Thank you. Yeah. The British That's Music enough. Awards. Period. So, I had the pleasure of attending. I was there, guys. Um, is this your first year? Second no, year? this is my second year. Yeah. This was my first year on the red carpet. This is the first... No, yeah, this is my first year on the red carpet, but the first year I went, I went in some House of CB dress that I just put together. It was cute. I just went, I watched and I left. But this year I was working with Instagram. So that was super fun. I got to do the red carpet. Guys, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. First of all, I want to say I love the bad boys and girls. And I love everybody that watches this show and invests into me. Because these are the experiences that I get to, is my titties out? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, the bra's not giving, is it? Yeah, uh, I get to have these cool experiences because of you guys watching and um supporting the and team. supporting the bumba clock thing. But yeah, sorry. Congratulations. Honestly, I've had a lot of fucking you howlers. Your flowers. Thank you. This is our Mother's Day flowers. Okay. <clears throat> I've had a lot. I don't know. I've had a lot of howlers on the red carpet. Howlers. I hate red carpet. And they're Honestly. like, Joyce, Joyce, this way, this way. Yeah, you know, just wait, Joyce. Joyce over the shoulder, Joyce. Joyce over the shoulder. It's hell. I proper. I don't know about. I don't know about your experience, but I hate carpets, guys. We finally got a good one. (laughs) We finally got a good one. We finally got a good one. I saw you post Getty, and if you can clear Getty, Getty, you made it. Getty. Yep. I finally got a good Getty. I, I, I'm so gassed. I'm so gassed. Getty, I'm so fat. Ha. <laughs> Getty, ha. Do you know, it's to the point where every time I have a red cup, I have anxiety because the thing is, yeah, once that Getty image is there, th- there, this is my hijab. I will never remove. You can never remove. <laughs> you can never remove that picture. So every time I'm on that carpet, I'm like, how long? After how long? After how long? You got this. This is the first year that I saw my Getty pics, and I said, "Yeah, boy." I was so gassed. I was, I was so gassed. gassed. But I had an amazing team. Um, it was it was an amazing time, and we had some really really good winners. I don't know who you've been listening to this year, but artist of the year was Ray. Oh yeah, she deserves so deserved that right? song because I keep on sipping. Yeah, me too, sis. Yeah, a little contest if you care to miss it. I found myself in a shit position. The man told me that I am here last night and he told me that it's over. Dumb decision. And now when it ends, song hard to listen. And I don't understand, so I stick to sipping. And now when it in the kick I'm missing. And when it ends, it's the That's my favorite, favorite line. Listen, a little context of it. Listen, she did that. She, I'm so happy for her. She deserves for a long time. She deserves. Long time. I love Ray, and I was so happy. This girl won six Brit Awards. Oh, wow, six Brit Awards, and it is the most Brits ever won in one night in history. She deserves history. I oh, was so like when she won her final award, Album of the Year. I got goosebumps. She brought her grandma onto the stage, and her grandma is a Ghanaian. Um, woman 
dark skin wendy uh Ghanaian, what do they call it what do they what do they call the material kente material to the brit you see nigerians they don't they don't if it, if it was her material if they were their material they would know yeah because it's the because it's my country isn't it? yeah but then you expect us to all the other cultures to also know no the gele yeah yeah you don't have to know we don't have to know but you'd want us to know no it's not it, let's let's talk about how you lot want to try and force yourself by force into the culture it's not like the like, like what is that like you know it because you're forcing yourself to no, know it. it's because it's okay when you're talking to nigerian they'll be like you know what i had to order my gele and it's like how do you know that i would know what gele is because you do yeah but how would you know because everyone wants to be nigerian and that's okay. My child's half Nigerian. I but know. Yeah, and do you know what? And you said it with. Can I? This is what I'm saying. Why do people love to pretend like they don't want to be us? Before Annie came onto here, right? She was like, I said, oh, I'm going to Nigeria in two weeks. And she was like, oh my God, can I come? My child is half Nigerian. So I don't. So, you're making me sound like those white people that have got black babies, okay? Like, <laughs> you're making me sound like those white people. Everybody was a Wait, hold on. I said, I want to go back to my child's roots. I want to be a good mother. I want to. Is that what she said? Did she say I'm that? sorry, you interpreted. You see she how said, Nigerians interpret she things? Said, she's like, oh, my child is half. I was like, okay. You see how Nigerians interpret things? Right. I just want to honor right, the man. roots. All right, man. I just want to honor the roots, but it's fine. Kill her there. Oh, see, she was like, she was like, wait, what? She was like, wait. You, you. <laughs> she just said, oh my God, I even know some Yoruba. Kill on Shella. Kill on Shella. You said that. Guys, that's not the only thing I know though. God, what do you know? Money Ferre. Don't you they want to be us so bad? Like, no, like but why does it have to want to be you? But why does it have to be I want to be you? Do you know Congolese? Of course I do. Fluently. Bandeku. Yes, of course I do. I'll allow you. Oh, allow do you, you know Yoruba fluently? Does it matter? I'm Yoruba. I don't exactly. Like, like, <laughs> does it matter? The f you give us a cup of me. <laughs> Obviously, I don't discriminate. I love everyone. I'm Hot always... topics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always gonna... Charlie, did you fart? Fed up. He keeps oh. farting. Unless it was you. Oh, you <laughs> gave it to me. I just gave birth. So you farted? No. No, it's Charlie. Charlie's been farting, you know. It's actually... And it's terrible. I was in a cab, yeah. I was on a, I was in a car. And He's there was so a guy cute. and the taxi driver. And he, he farted. Him. And the taxi... And you know what's... Oh, nah. Do you know what... The... Okay. So you know when you're in the taxi, yeah? You know if you fart, yeah? The mm. taxi drivers, they're not going to be like, oh, you fart, but they'll open all four windows. Yeah, they're so rude. Like, you know how rude that is? They're so rude. Do Even you know when I spray perfume, you know they'll just rude. open the you know whole how, thing. Do you know how rude that is? You basically call me a dirty about saying it like so obviously charlie farted this guy dropped the whole foot or even even the boots he opened i was like i had to be like it wasn't me it wasn't me it wasn't me it wasn't me it was my dog he's so funny he's so chill <laughs> nah it won't be just know yeah if you're on a taxi yeah if you're on a taxi and then and then the the driver starts busting all five windows down it's because he knows what you did and you can't, it's not just you that can smell it anyways back to the brits so <laughs> back to the brits so we had ray win six nomination because mm. she her grandma was wearing the kente yes that's what this really spiraled didn't it <laughs> so um yeah she had the kente i was so proud of her honestly and her story i don't know if you know her story but she was having issues with her label yeah and her label refused for her to play music and things um, so I refused to release music and basically using her as a songwriter. Yeah. So they were keeping her on a, on the label so that she can write music for other, other people, artists. Yeah. But they didn't feel like she was good enough to be an artist mm -hmm. individually. So she left the label and has come out to do incredible things. And she was on that, in that label for like seven years, I believe. Wow. So honestly, I'm so, so proud of her. I'm proud of her too. We had international, I said international, international artist of the year was Scissor. Okay. You know, somebody, some people say that I look a bit like Cesar. I can see it. I can see it. Thank you. I accept. Everyone, like some people say that I look like Cesar. And you know what? I'm going to be delusional like that girl from Love is Blind. And I'm going to accept it. I can see it. Thank you. I Guys, do it. I look like Cesar? I think if you like went to like an international country where they don't really know, like they think all black people look the same, like. Thing. Yeah. And then you walked around, you know, like. I could walk around and say I'm Beyonce and they would be like, yeah, Beyonce, yeah. You, have you seen those videos on TikTok? You're not my help at this point. No, but that's what I'm saying. You could do that. They could maybe think you're Cesar, you know? So do I look like Cesar or not? 
You do. I can see it. I can see it. But it has to take somebody who doesn't know <laughs> black people to say that I look like Scissor so that you two can look like Beyonce to them. Maybe. Girl, you. <laughs> you hard. Mm. But yeah, international, I love Scissor a lot. And yeah. What's um, your favorite Scissor song? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have to say snooze. <laughs> no, I like that song. How can I lose? Yes. What's your favorite scissors song? Snooze. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I actually song. like um the other one. What? I just keep them satisfied through the weekend. Oh, wow. Also you like right. that the yeah, fact yeah, cool, out yeah. the weekend. Yeah, I love her. No, I really enjoyed that album, actually. Yeah. Performances of the night that we had um, Dua Lipa, Ray, Kylie Minogue, Calvin Harris, Ellie Golden, Tate McRae, and Rema. So Rema performed. I like Rema. He's Nigerian, right? No, he's from um, Ghana. Rema? Yeah. Rema? Yeah. The artist? Yeah. Isn't he Nigerian? No, he's gone in. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, why you- Bartender, bartender, I'm going to need a re-up. Where your cockle is? You don't know anything. You don't um, know. I just gave, I'm a mother. I've been I, MIA. I'm in mommy planet. Rema is Nigerian and he performed, but he performed Calm Down, which was very sad. Wait, what's Calm Down? Again? Baby, Calm Down. Oh, calm I like down. that song. Yeah, I like cool. that song, but I wanted to, everyone knows my favorite song is Rema Charm. How, how did that one go? Come here, make you, they worry you. Green body, you know it. Soccer, ah, soccer with this body, make you roll. That song is dirty. I'm sure. What that girl was doing to Omelette. Sing it again, week. sing it again. On, I want to hear you. Yeah, make you they worry you. Green body make I rock. Come, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm getting money if I see your baba. Wow, I can imagine you whining to it. They that what they saw on Omelets on that day. That girl, mm. Omelet, they haven't seen anything. Let that song come on. They would know what a dirty wine is. Really? They would know what a <laughs> <laughs> they would know what a dirty wine is. Bruh. But yeah, Rama performed. Love to see him. Ray performed. We've got some outfits. I'm going to show my... I'm going to choose my favorite outfits. Um, Clara Ampho in Vivian Westwood. Ooh. This lovely, sexy green here. I love Clara Ampho. Clara Ampho is the first black woman yeah. to host the Brit Awards, guys. It's not a game. Wow. No How one long has they been running for? I don't for? even know. Clara is the first wow. black woman to That's host crazy. the Brits main stage. I am so proud of her. She did so amazing. Wow. I was so I was so inspired to see her there. Then of course we have the sexy AJ Odoo do. AJ Odoo. Honestly, like she every time I see her, I'm like, you skinny legend. Because I feel like she's the definition of the skinny Let legend. Me see. I love her. She's I remember the first time I saw her. I can't remember what show it was. Oh, but it was it was everything. after. Do you know what? Can I tell you something? Go on. Neck and collarbone. That's it. That's yeah. what you. That elevates the look. Neck yeah. and collarbone. I'm telling you. Yeah, her collarbone is given. Her neck is given. Trust she's, me. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I Love remember that. she used to do the show. I don't know if it was after I like a game show. It was after Love Island, but they always put her in latex, and I'm like, latex leather. It was like very. Love that. I'm just like. Yeah, you're you're eating this. You're eating this like cereal. No meat. crumbs. And of course, we had Maya Jama. I love this look. Oh. She was also hosting. She looked... Maya Jama is my just my queen. She's, She's a everything. queen. I love 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 She's Maya Jama. Everything. We have Miss Dua Lipa as well. Do you know what? Again, like One anyone in leather. All it takes. I love this. That is definitely not Dua Lipa. No, no, that's not Dua Lipa. That's that's Yinka. Hold on, we're not getting there yet. This one. Do you know what? I love Dua Lipa. I love her. Yes, waist, yes, hips. Yes, waist, yes, hips, yes, leather. I'm a for leather. Y'all already know. Like, mm -hmm. anyone, every time someone, like, I don't know what it is, but when somebody wears a leather, I'm Are you like, low-key dominatrix? I think so, you know. I feel like you are. Do, would I, you, are you dominatrix or are you do, dominant or... Um, submissive. Mm. I feel like I'm a bit of a sub, though. I feel like it depends. It depends do you know what man. all strong women are subs? I, facts. Facts. I feel like It's I'm like you sub. just want someone to just control you, like, fantasy, like, let yourself go, like, ugh. I think so. Because you always have to be in control in real life. Facts. I feel like I, I, I was having a conversation with Poet last week and I was like, I think 
when it comes to a certain man in the bedroom, I think I'm a super sub. I'm a sub like, spit my mouth. How have we said that word? Right, so we've got the Brits. And um, we have- Why did I feel uncomfortable? Like I didn't just have a baby. <laughs> it's just like, oh God, she just took me. But yeah. yeah. Um, and we have Yinka Bikini to end. Honestly, and Yinka Bikini is pregnant. We have another mummy on Mother's oh Day. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm so gassed. Honestly, this is mummy season, you know. I'm trying to hold my breath. I'm oh. trying to hold my breath. I love every woman pregnant. Oh, I'm she, so sorry. Honestly, you're about to be the coolest part of the coolest club. You know what's club. you know what's so interesting? Yinka kept it hidden for a while. This was her like debut. Yeah. This was her pregnancy debut. And I saw her at the Mobos in December. Uh-huh. And we were chatting for time. We were mm. kiki and I was like, yeah, girl, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second yeah. woman that stubbed you. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> And then you find out months later that, boop, I'm pregnant. Honestly, so when she came out, I was like this. I literally, I felt, I went like this. Like I was just talking to you. I was like, girl, I just saw you like two two months ago. And you were like, yeah, I was, hide- I was hiding it from the world. I wasn't ready to, to mm. this work is farting and it's actually upsetting me. If you <laughs> ever had a child, if you ever got pregnant, would you do an announcement straight away? No. Or would you wait? How long would you wait for till the end like Kylie Jenner did or like? No, I wouldn't wait to the end because I want I want my like I want to do like a you want the, yeah you want the vibes I want the pictures and stuff yeah maybe like for five months six months okay honestly sis was you the day you found out is the day you told everybody I told people on my birthday I feel like you told people the day you found out no it was like a week later you were like, <laughs> we 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 went through the whole pregnancy no because journey. I knew people were gonna like want to keep up with me on my birthday and I was like oh guess what I got the best gift ever God could ever give me boom. It's and then don't announce it early because people keep saying, you've been pregnant for so long. You've been pregnant for so long. Because it's literally nine months. People yeah. are like, wow, you're still pregnant, huh? Yeah. It did feel like a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> to be real, to be yeah. honest. To be honest. That's good though. Congrats to Yinka. Yeah, Yinka, honestly, congratulations. I love her. You looked, you looked f-ing amazing. Win or Right, guys, we are going to play our favorite game, win or bin. Ding. So, the name of the game is I'm going to give. Win or bin. <laughs> Sorry, the name of the game is win or bin. Yeah. No, the name would no. The, the, when I say the name of the game, that means like. The, why do I say that? The name. The yeah, the explanation. So here's the name of the game. Like the congrats. name of the game is win or bin, though. Congrats, congrats. So the name of the game is win or bin. The point of the no, so oh, the point of the, the game, aim of the, the game. aim of the game. Do you know what? We've been saying you- that for time and no one's corrected us. So what the hell? <laughs> the aim of the game. I'm going to give you a topic of conversation and you're going to tell me the, whether it's the win or a bin and why. Mm-hmm. By the way, guys, Adi has filled my system with tequila. So if you hear me stuttering, that's why. I am your guest. Yeah, but I'm trying to drink to your level. I don't ever drink this much. Do you know? I'm, 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 you're like, this is your second glass. Yes. I think I'm on my fourth, I think. Yes. And now she's on straight, guys. So I she's was on lockdown sh- for nine months. I was in pregnancy jail. Child. Pregnancy Sorry. jail. Okay, cool. Win or bin? Face and neck tattoos. <sighs> Do you love it? All of them. Or you, just one. Like I like a neck. But you not like face. a neck? Face is bin. Face is bin. I no, but I like Skepta's tribals. I'm sorry, I love him. I love him. I, love I really do. I think I'm Skepta's biggest fan. Skepta, if you ever see this, um, I'm homeless and I'm really vulnerable and I would love a make a wish. So if you ever want, do you know me. what? I don't think I've ever, ever seen someone shoot their shot <laughs> as a charity case. I don't think I've. <laughs> I don't think I've, that's new. I said, I'm homeless and I need this and I need like, oh, bundles. I'm just <laughs> I need I'm everything. Cr- I am crying. No, Imagine, I love skin. No, but that's, oh, but, no, that's but, hold on one. a second. Where are your priorities? Because if you're homeless, why are you looking for hair? <laughs> so wait, hold on. Ho- uh, a bad b- can't be homeless. You could be a bad b- but have a house at least. Like, sh- no. What, you want me to be scrounging just because I'm homeless? That's wrong. That's you know foul, Joyce. Yeah, there probably is some babies that are fleeky deaky but don't have any house. There's, priorities are vital. Priorities Period. are important. Period. But neck tattoo, I, do you know what? Everyone knows Skepta. I love a tech He's, he's neck. a very handsome man. Yes. He's, I love a neck tattoo. Honestly, God made him. He got, God made him. 
God made all of us, but God made him. I'm actually not allowed to talk about it because the last time I did, I got in trouble. <gasps> From who? I won't talk about you that. You won't. No. Twin, where have you been? Okay. So you like neck. Do you know what? Yeah, I love tattoos, but I also, I find that the guys I date are very tattooless. Mm. No tattoos, nice skin. Same. <laughs> my, I don't have, all my exes, no tattoos. All my, all the guys. They're like neat. They're like very neat, no tattoos. No, I said neat. Neek. Yeah. No, but I love a neek. I love a I nerd. love neek. Neeks are so underrated, especially when you're a bad bitch. Like, they will hold, they're like... Shut Can up, sit this? in your place, stand in your place. They're not trying to intimidate you. They just appreciate you for who you are. And they're just like, this? get in the room right now and lie down and stay down. The and I'm like, yes. The nerd bad combo. Oh, it's elite. French kiss. It's elite. That's why I think, yeah, I really think more guys that are like, you know, they need to shoot their shots. Nerds. With the, it's the best I love combo. It, you know what? Listen, let me be a bad bitch. You sit at home on your computer. If you like, play Minecraft. No, I don't take mind. Take the pictures of me. Play your Minecraft. Yeah, and take pictures. Of and me. take pictures. Yeah, and, and gas me, and then be like, "You're so beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman in the whole world." I, I, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the guys I've been dating recently are proper nerds, and I love. It. I love a nerd. I love. And do you know what? Do you know what I books. love about nerds? Go on. They're not the clubbing type. They stay at home. They stay at home. They want to get money. They're yeah. thinking about account. They're thinking about mortgage. They're thinking about. They're thinking about getting their yeah, life seriously. together. There was one time I was dating a nerd, and I said, "What do you like to do? Like in your free time?" He said, "I like to watch snooker." <laughs> I like, and he watches. Yes, wait, daddy. He watches snooker on mute because he doesn't, <gasps> he doesn't like noise. I said, "Ah, oh, oh, daddy, oh." That sounds so good. Yeah. What else do you like to do? He said, oh, this, he said he likes to collect watches. <gasps> we love thing. a man that collects a oh, watch. Daddy, that's so good. Yes. And then he said he loves, what's the other thing he what he loves? He loves like coding. I said, oh yes, daddy, that's so Please, good. Let, tell me he hit you with anime. No, he doesn't. He does. He's not an anime guy, oh. but he's tech snooker. That's his thing. That's nice cool. Thing. And he's like, I don't like to party. He said that when he went to the strip club, he was scared. I said, I was so turned on. I said, ah, oh. he was, what he said, I was, he was like, he was scared. He said he went once, never went again. I was like, ah, oh. he said he, he went to, he said he went to gambling and he hated it. He doesn't gamble. You know what I love when guys say, when like the guy is like guys like that, they say stuff like, I can't date multiple women. It gives me a headache. Oh, 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 yes. Say that again. Say that again. When they say, when they say, women nowadays they, no when they say when they when they say you know all these guys nowadays they talk about dating and stuff if you like a girl spend spend your money on them it doesn't make sense to not spend money if you're dating i'm like yes like i yes, say i'm well hungry done. here's some of your money yes well done what do you want to eat use my card use my card here's they my love card and use my card here's my card is my best is no the best use thing. my card because the card's already on your apple pay wait they I, trust you like hello that. they got a good job Hello. That's what I'm talking about. I have not reached the stage <laughs> where somebody else's card is on your Apple Pay. Is on my and phone. their billing address. Hey. No, literally. Oyster. Tap tap clink. What God cannot do does not delivery. Exist. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> YouTube premium. Clink clink clink. <laughs> the clown now. <laughs> clink clink clink. <laughs> Neck right, we're not being neck tattoos or face tattoos. Let's let's round up. Bin, yeah, or win. Um, bin for face, neck is a win. I'm gonna say the same thing. I love a neck tattoo. Let me bite your neck. Actually, today. nah, no, I'm gonna say bin for all of them. Okay, bin. Yeah, bin. Okay, that's what's up. Right, next one. Win or bin? Living with your parents. For a man or a woman? This is for you. It doesn't say anything. So obviously this comes from Anthony, Anthony Joshua revealing recently that he still lives at home with his mum when he's in the UK so he can spend more time with his family. If it's Anthony Joshua, that's a win. <laughs> okay. If it's Anthony that. Joshua, it's a win. Do you know what's mad? Fun mm. fact, I actually know Anthony Joshua's mum very well. That's my auntie. Big up auntie Yetta every bumba clock time. Yes, that's my auntie and I, she's lovely. So auntie, I said hello. I won't. Is he Yoruba? Yeah, she's Yoruba. She's lovely. 
say auntie hello killer day you don't like we're going back to this whole thing innit we're going back to this whole but thing but yeah how is but she but i'm gonna she's amazing honestly I she's know. so nice and i think um it's one of those things where dependent on i feel like it depends on your parents mm. if you have easygoing parents example auntie yata she's fantastic if you have easygoing parents you can stay there you can enjoy your life they're not going to stress you too much if you live in war you live in war then sometimes it's best to just leave the crib but for me honestly living with your parents i am going to say and i'm gonna i'm gonna say win in this cost of living crisis i think it's realistic to say it's when. realistic i agree i agree we say in the not in 1980s when freaking mortgages were 2k i agree it's a lot more <laughs> difficult especially I, I feel like especially when you have if like, you're in london too if you're in london i if i want to date a guy and i know funny enough a couple years ago if you've asked me this question i'd have probably be like nah i can only live a guy with a guy i can only date a guy that's got his own crib da, 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 da. but I think it depends on the circumstances of what's happening. Right. So, for example, let's just say he's living You're with his parents. You're contributing to the household. Let's just say he lives with his parents, but he has a good job. He's saving up for a mortgage. Or some guys, they have mortgages, but they're renting, and then they go back to live with their parents. Right. But I'm going to say it's a win. I feel like I, the ideal for me would to be with, is to be with somebody that lives alone, just so, you know, we have that private time. Yeah. And, Wow. yeah definitely alone time but i think like in this economy especially this economy. if you're like in your 20s you're dating a in guy. your 20s yeah, yeah. if the guy's in his 20s i'm sorry if he's living at home it's fair game mm. what about if the guy was in his 30s or 40s if he's in your 40 what the f- <laughs> if you're your if you're if you're if you're younger than for me 34 i was gonna say 37 come on 37. 35. Because if you're 34, you could be contributing to the household. Okay. Like 37. taking care of everything. Okay. okay. If you're younger than 37, I could see it and be like, okay, that's fair. Again, there's other factors that will influence my. And the only reason why is because it's cost of living crisis. Yeah. It's cost of living crisis. And we just came out of a pandemic. Facts. Yeah. So I understand. I'm, I'm seeing how hard things are hitting for people. People. And house as well. Because even me rent trying to find a house in london and Renting. what do you, what would you rather him live in that his house and living with his so parents he has more spending and he's got, money no and also he's got a bigger room or do you want him in a box room with seven other roommates in a different in a in a, in a shared accommodation yeah what agreed, would you rather agreed agreed i, would, agreed. I, I don't mind meeting your mom agree because even even sharing right even sharing a thousand pounds for yes, a small for little small thingy yeah, I've, I've seen it i've seen it it's yeah, hell it's, it's horrible so it's, it's horrible. in this economy maybe I get your money up. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Next, win or bin. We got the final one. The giving partners that have cheated. Win or bin. Personally, it depends on the circumstance. Circumstance. Mm. Yep. Elaborate. I think if it's coming with change behavior. And a Chanel bag and some coin, then maybe we could talk about it. We can just talk. But if you're just gonna cheat again and it's just bin, 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 yeah, bin, bin. Let's keep that back. Let's keep that where it, no, bin, 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 bin. You know when you say, oh yeah, my dad used to cheat, so I cheated. Oh, you not your. It's cheating doesn't get passed on by blood. That's like ben. that. Like, ugh, that's like that whole situation with Love Is Blind with Ad and Clay, where the guy's like, "Yeah, when I was back in 1997, my dad used to cheat. I used oh. to watch him cheat, and I'm scared that's in my heart that maybe Go! that maybe I would cheat." Go, sir, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, shut the f- sir, shut the f- up. Mm-mm. Cheating is not hereditary. It's not a generational curse. But I will say I'm a cheater. Reformed. I feel like we've had this conversation. Okay. So you cheated? Proudly. I'm joking. No. <laughs> no. 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 What someone say is that a good example for your daughter to learn? No. No. I haven't cheated proudly, but I I'm understand. I, 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 I do understand a cheater's mind. Okay. What's the cheater's mind? 
do you want me to say it like from a humble perspective or do you want me to say it from a real ass perspective oh this is cnt baby it's always real ass okay from a humble perspective it's like oh yeah you know what i'm insecure you know whatever but from a real ass perspective it's just like okay first of all <laughs> i don't actually mentally understand how to like you want me to love you okay fine but then when you do me dirty i still have to stay okay fine but then someone else wants to treat me better but i'm in love with like that's how you cheat like you got history with someone you know i often cheat back i cheat back you're for cheating back. I cheat back. So that's how I end up in my situations because I cheat back. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is happening? Before. This is before motherhood. This is, be this is before motherhood. Yeah. Do you know what? I've never cheated. Stop. Because you cheat by accident. No, Women always. Never... Like, no, no. We have to stop. We have to stop this in 2024. I need to think about Women it. Women need to be honest about how they cheat because women will literally fully have sex with the guy on a girl's holiday. And they'll be like, nah, it, was, it wasn't cheat because there wasn't feelings in it. Like, that's not cheating. The man will do the same thing. So you what, broke my so whole life. So what would you categorize as cheating? Me? Yeah. So it, is a flirty checks cheating? When does it get to cheating? Because not going to lie, I'll be flirting. Okay, so I'll say this. It depends on. on the type of person you are, mm -hmm. how I feel about you. Mm -hmm. That's when I... That's what I classify it as. Because if you're like a nerdy guy and you all about me, how dare you even flirt with someone else? Like, that <laughs> but if you're a bad boy and it's like, that's not your norm, like you might flirt. I know that I accept that and that's why I'm with you. Yeah. I'm not, that's why I'm with, no. I'm with you and I accept that. But then you stick your dick in something, that's cheating. But yeah. you, I already knew you flirt. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, what is it your norm? And then you're going outside of your norm. That's yeah. cheating. Okay. Because you know what the type of character the person had right. before you dated. Because me, I'm flighty. I'm a very flighty lady. You're a cheater. I can't. Impossible. Libras are all cheaters. Do you know what? I do have the capability of cheating. But I've never cheated. I don't think so. I had to think about it. Is this not on my list? Maybe it's because you... Uh, when was the last time you were in a relationship? Huh? When was the last time? Honestly, I feel like it's like someone's been called my boyfriend. What's like, up with the hypotheticals? When was the last time you felt like you was in a relationship? Don't try to scurry around it. When was the last time, Joyce? Joycey. What? <laughs> um, God. We must be. Joyce, Joyce. Must be you cheated. You cheated. It's okay. I never cheated. Mm hmm. Honestly, I've not had a boyfriend, like, as in, this is my boyfriend. For you to be specific like that, you cheated. You cheated. Just say it. Nah, but if you're not my boyfriend, why the fuck am I, mm. why am I holding it down P.O.P.? Okay, so you need the title. Yeah. Okay. If you're not my boyfriend, it's game. Okay. That's fair. I don't really believe in that, you know? I mean... If you're not my boy, some and people are like, if you're not even my husband, it's gay. Are you telling me, are you, are you telling me if the love of, you love this man, he wasn't your boyfriend, he loved you, okay? You guys weren't officially together and you saw him with another woman that wouldn't break your heart. Yeah, of course it break my heart. Yeah. And so would you feel like you could still be upset or no? Because you're not together. Exactly. So, hmm. What did motherhood do to you, Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> you used to be outside. Now you're talking. Now you're trying to give me philosophical bullshit. I beg. I'm just saying. But yeah, I, it's okay. I just want you to be with me. You're cheaters. It's all right. No, I don't want to join that. I've never cheated. How old are you, 26? Yeah. All right. Let's give it a two years. So the win or bin, forgiving partners that have cheated. You're saying it's a win. It's, uh, it's circumstantial. Circumstantial. I want to say it's a bin. I'll probably end up doing it because I'm a very forgiving person. But I want to say it's... I'm cheating back. Period. See, I can't even do that. I'm you wouldn't even cheat back. I'm a lover girl. I will just cry and go, oh. go back. Okay. Are you smart? Right, guys. We are back. And of course, we are coming back with our favourite game 
Have you played Are You Smart before? Uh, I think so. You have played Are You Smart, yeah. and you did a terrible job. I remember this. You did quite a bad job. I actually did really well. Flashback, cut the cameras. That's for Flashback, your crew yeah, for the to, like, yeah, to insert the, the clip. The clip of you yeah. winning doing so well. well. So insert clip. Action. I'm not sure if you... I don't know what is going to be shown, but I don't think you did that well. But anyways, you have days... You have today to rectify yourself. Okay, let's go. So, obviously, you know the name of the game. We asked our guests, co-hosts, culture questions. This is the culture question questionnaire. <laughs> well, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> right, so I'm going to ask you six questions. Uh-huh. It's a bit different this time. Obviously, you came and we had 10 questions, but this time we have six questions. You can only give me one answer. You can't tell me Bobby, Susie, Adam, Becky, Joseph, Adekunle. Your dog's licking my toes. Yeah. He... Charlie, stop that. He's got a foot fetish. Yeah, Charlie does have a foot fetish. You love that. And um, he needs to just not. <laughs> Go on. So you have six questions. Six questions. And if you get it wrong. Uh-huh. No, if you get it right. Yeah. I have to take the shot. If you get it wrong, you have to take the shot let's go and the shots could be a nice shot or a naughty shot depending <laughs> on the question asked and answered and depending on how tia was feeling at the time she poured it isn't that right tia yes so well i might just get it wrong on purpose just to spice up my life you know what i'm saying yeah don't do that okay because <laughs> you don't know which question falls on a nice shot you don't True. know which yeah shot, so these yeah okay good. Thank best, you. so just do your best you know, okay Shane, ready let's go so Question number one. It is a riddle. Riddle, riddle. Riddle, riddle. Who has married many women but was never married? Who has married many women but was never married? Who has married? No. Who has married many women? But was never married. And it's this is a riddle. Riddle, riddle. When you say riddle, what do you mean? Riddle. It's a riddle. Who has married? Me- this is how you just starting off, not even to just like ease me into it. Penetration, just like straight in the hole. All right. Who has married many women? Who has married? Married. Something there is giving me a vibe married so who has married many women the word married is giving me a vibe but just tell me we got no answer not right now no can you have a clue no okay go on then we've got no answer so we will give you the answer and the answer is the priest see that's where i said you see when i said the married is the all right, cool. The priest. But what if it's a pastor? What if it was a pastor? We probably would have accepted that answer. What if I said it's my best friend? Because my best friend marries people as ordained minister. What if it's a minister? Would have accepted. Mm, okay. But you didn't give us anything. To be honest, there was three possible answers. So <laughs> we need to talk to the writers <laughs> for this show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Am I small or are they small? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Go on, let's get into it. Yeah, you take your shot, girl. Oh, <laughs> gotta take your shot, mate. Me trying to get out of it. Me trying to get out of it. So you take this one. This is the second one for you. Well done. <laughs> no problem. Thank Can you. I have someone to give it to me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Go on, take a shot. What is the shot of the day? I have to answer that too. Tia? It's a lemon and lime flavoured water. Lemon and lime flavoured water. So that was that was an easy one. That was a warm-up one. Didn't do too bad. Question number two. What is the largest known land animal? La- oh, 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 a moose. Are you locking that? Locking in, in closing the door. So... We have moose. I'm locking in and I'm closing the door. That is incorrect. What's the largest animal? The answer is elephant. I said elephant. Everyone here 
Every I said elephant. You then change it back to moose. I change it to moose. You double down. I change it to moose because sometimes it's baby elephants. Yeah, but what does? <laughs> but okay, fine. Give me the sh- give what? me the but next shot. But there's also baby mooses. I, at the end of the day, I actually don't care because I actually said elephant. You guys heard it. So really and truly, I should get half a point, but it's fine. Can I get the drink? Right, so here's your next shot. Can I take half of this? No. Because I was half right. You take the full shot. What was that shot? Ginger. Tia. And tequila. Ginger and tequila. That's my vibe, babe. Come on. They're really, you guys are giving me, come on, make it fun. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Make it fun. She didn't even taste the tequila. She was like, ginger. <laughs> she was like, I said, ginger? I need the antioxidant. She didn't, she, didn't, she, didn't, she, didn't, she didn't know about the next one. Question number three. What's your favorite artist, by the way? My favorite artist? Yeah. Right now or of all time? Of all time. Of all time or mm. like just like my person? Your person. Beyonce. That's good to know because we do have a Beyonce question here for you. And I'll get it right 10 times over. And if I get it right, you have to do three shots. Uh, not quite. Well, I will take the next shot. So, question number three: What was Beyonce's first number one hit? That's a trick question because she was also in a band with Destiny Child as a solo artist. Because I just want to be clear, because I know how you lot get down on this show. What was Beyonce's as a solo artist number one or as a Destiny Child in the Destiny Child group? What was Beyonce's first number one hit? Well, no, 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 no. If we want to get into it, but if it is, if you want to say Crazy in Love, then what we can go with crazy in love i said two answers there as a solo artist and when she was with the group destiny's child if you guys want to say no 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 wasn't in a hit then we need to talk to the writers of the show what are you locking in i'm One putting in my rights i'm gonna say no 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 because that was her first hit lily wasn't that her first it was her first number one hit we are locking you'll be saying in. No, 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 no 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 when it's really yes 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 yes, 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 yes. So you know the song it was a hit we are locking in and was it a hit in the us or the uk because our charts here are different so we need to speak to the writers of this show <laughs> okay see they keep coming for you every time every time <laughs> okay go on crazy in love or no 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 you have to pick one it has to be one answer you're saying beyonce beyonce was in a group with destiny's child her number one hit she definitely has a a, a what are you locking i'm gonna say no 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 because that was her first number one okay we are locking in no 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 if you guys say crazy in love why i order (laughs) if you guys say crazy in love i'm not taking that shot i will riot that is correct <laughs> just change it because we don't want the beyonce fans to come for you that is incorrect the answer is crazy in love i want to speak to the writers of the show so as a writer of the show <laughs> can i just say we didn't ask you what was destiny's child's number one we asked you what was beyonce's number one all right check this all right check this cocktails and takeaways gets awarded a, 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 a nomination for something. Mm-hmm. You're going to take home on the award, and guess what? So it's this person, this person, this person, everybody you got here, they're going to take home an award. They're going to give it out to you as well. All right. But now if one of your crew members now wants to make a podcast, is that their first award for a podcast show? No, it's not. The first award will be with cocktails and takeaways. Do you see what I'm saying? No. Right. Sorry. What's the next what's the next what's the next what's the next thing there? This is for you, Queen. That looks like a nice one. You don't want to scare me with the green cheese. What have we got this week, Tia? That was that is a kiwi and cucumber smoothie. You've been quite kind this today. Quite, uh-huh. quite kind this week. Not sure what's going on. Quite kind. I think after Thank maybe you, because Tia. of maybe because of how I suffered last week. Maybe because of how I suffered last week. Lest we forget. 
lest we forget. I just want to say I got crazy and I did say crazy in love. Yeah. To be honest, if you had said, that's why we were emphasizing Beyonce because Beyonce individually, her first hit was crazy in love. Destiny's Child's first hit was no, no, no. Beyonce herself will say that no, no, no was her first hit. And she says it in one of the documentaries. As a Beyonce stand, I know that. But let the Beyonce stand. Beyonce stands, if you're watching, let's unite. Talk to Miss Joyce. And the writers of this show, <laughs> okay? I would, because you, I'm a Beyonce stand. Who do you stand? Jesus. How would you feel if Jesus came down and asked you to recite something? And he said, you know, you're not coming into heaven because you don't know this. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Let's move on to the next one. Move on to, let's go to number four. Right, question number four. I'm going to give you a hand. I'm going to give you multiple choice. Mm -hmm. How old was Justin Bieber when he released his debut single, Baby? Baby, 14. A, 15. He was 14. B, 16. He was 14. C, 18. Okay, um, 16. We've got A, 15, B, 16. 16. What happened to 14? No, it's 16. It was an even number. Are you locking that in? Locking it in and closing the door. That is correct. Well done. I've been correct all this episode, by the way. They just want to hit me with the hypotheticals. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> No. No. That one. Yeah, go and enjoy. That one looks very demonic. This could be nice. I'm upset. Oh. Exactly how people do shots. Like in four intervals. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was bitter lemon and lemon juice. Actually, it wasn't a nice one. But was it not? Okay. <laughs> this is a very nice. I was nice day. today. It Happy seems. Mother's Day. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I'm not a mom. <laughs> yeah, you gave me. You brought us these drinks, that <laughs> Question number five. Go on. What multiple choice? Yeah, can you say that next time? What? This is multiple, multiple choice. choice in front. Yeah. So I'm prepared. Multiple choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the only planet that spins clockwise? Earth. Multiple choice. Earth. Multiple choice. A, Jupiter. Earth. B, Venus. Earth. C, Mars. Earth. D, uh, uh, D what? There's no D, it's just. Wait, what? A Jupiter. Wait, what? Wait, what? Say that again? A Jupiter, mm. B Venus, mm. C Mars. And it spins clockwise out of those three. Yeah. There's no other planets that spin clockwise, it's just out of those three. There's planets. Are you asking me? Wait, hold on. Are there planets that spin what clockwise? Is the only but out of those three, they spin clockwise. What is the only planet that spins clockwise? Mm. Jupiter. Are you locking that? In? I have a, I, I have to. I have no choice at this point. I'm a hostage. I have no choice. I'm gonna say Jupiter. We're locking in Jupiter. That is incorrect. The answer Mars. is D, Earth. No, yeah, fuck with you, fuck with you. <laughs> Sorry. The answer is B, Venus. Oh, okay. That's what it is. No one really checks for Venus unless you're doing star signs. What's the next drink? This is for you. That looks like a Bloody Mary. Is that a Bloody Mary? It's a sriracha something. You've got to take the shot 
drop it like it's hot. Mm, you got to take okay, a Okay, a bit of a tomato juice. Hmm. Will that sit well with my citrus vibes? I don't know. <laughs> if I'm sick on this set, <laughs> you can take it out with the writers of this show. Let me tell you something, okay? I wouldn't have had all these shots if they listened. Honestly, too many trick questions. Take the shots. Hmm. Charlie, you warmed see, it. Charlie, stop it. Yeah, I did. It is warm. Yeah, it's warm. you know what? Thank you for that because you know what? I've been drinking all episode. Cocktails and takeaways. I had the cocktails with the takeaway. I guess this is it. We have the final question. So I'm going to give you three lines from one song. Okay. They're not in order, but you have to guess, yeah? Okay. So the first one is, I just want to live in a fantasy. The next line is, ladies is pimps tonight. And the third one is, I look too good. The first line in this song is, I just want to live in a fantasy. The second line is, ladies is pimps tonight. And the third one is, I look too good. Wait, does everybody know this song? Yes. Everyone on the planet Earth. Maybe is not it like a really the... well-known song? It is a well-known song. Ladies. Is it a Jay-Z song? Give that to what me. What is the name of the song and the person who performed it? I just want to live in a fantasy. Ladies is pimps tonight. I look too good. That's literally my Facebook status in 2018. Okay. I just want to look good. Okay, do you know, just go on. Let me just... Where's the next... Do you want to know what the song is? No. <laughs> right. Thank you for tuning in for Cocktails and Takeaways. <laughs> Who was it? I put that on my mama, on my hood. I look fly. I look too good. You can't touch my back, but she... Uh, I Anyways, you've taken the shot. Was it a nice one? Tia, what was it? It was a guava drink, a guava juice with some basil seeds. Honestly, we've actually had a yeah. good shot collection today. Yeah, that was shocking. Really... It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Yeah, you went kind. You went soft. Really you went lovely. kind and soft. Yeah. But honestly, this has been such a chaotic, one of the most chaotic episodes I've had in a while, but I've loved it so much. And mm. I love you. Get back I, to your roots. No, seriously, get back to the roots, right? Thank you so much for coming. And um, where do we me. find you on the internet? Um, Annie Drea on Instagram, YouTube, Annie Drea, Twitter, Annie Drea underscore, TikTok, Annie Drea. Period. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much for coming. It has been a phenomenal episode. Happy Mother's Day to everyone who is a mother or feels like one big up you mm -hmm. the mother them stand up happy mother's day remember if that guy's sucking on your titty your mama too remember next week we are gonna be <laughs> locking in with the baddest girl and the baddest boy you know what i'll take it see you later guys <laughs>